This video is going to be about the 2019 Walt Disney World Dining Plans. Uh, chat, you know, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Once again, check out my information down below. Facebook, Twitter, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. It's every same every time. I am a travel agent. I specialize in all things Disney. Disney World and Disney Cruise mainly, but I do do Disneyland. Do do. Oh, wreck it, Ralph. Um, and Adventures by Disney. I do Universal as well. I'm trying to, you know, I like Universal a lot, but yeah, it's frowned upon to be mentioned in the same sentence as Disney. If you do not know, the 2019 plan, uh, packages just came out. They came out on Tuesday, so they were good until October 31st on Tuesday of 2019. So November 1st opened on Wednesday, November 2nd opened on Thursday, which is the day that I am filming this, and today is June 21st. So the packages came out on June 19th, and if you are interested at all in a quote, please contact me. Now, usually there's not much urgency in 2019 packages, but next year, if you don't know, Galaxy's Edge opens, which is Star Wars Land and Hollywood Studios. Opens in Disneyland in summer. Hollywood Studios in late fall. What does late fall mean to Disney? I don't know. Nobody knows. So if you are interested in any fall reservations, I can't you need a late fall, you need to book those puppies. Like you need to reserve them now. It's only two hundred dollars to reserve. And you do not have to pay it off until 30 days before your trip. You can make payments throughout the whole year, minimum of $20. And I can help you. We can set up a payment plan. You can tell me, hey, Shelby, every Friday, put down $50. All right, done. And, you know, you give me all your information, and I do that for you, and you don't have to worry about it. And this way, you are locked into this reservation and to the price that it is now, because I guarantee... Those prices in February are going to go up. They always do on the tickets. What they're going to be? Mm, I have a theory. Hollywood Studios ticket price is going to go higher than Magic Kingdom just because of Galaxy's Edge. So if you are interested in it, please contact me ASAP. And all my information is once again down below. 2019 dining plan. Now, the quick service dining plan. We'll start with that one is quick service location is kind of like it's a fast food restaurant but it's not fast food food it's all upscale disney has upscale food now they do have the burgers and the nuggets and the fries and everything but they also you, know, you can get a lobster roll at columbia harbor house santuli canteen you can get cheeseburger buns she's steamed bao buns with cheeseburger in them mm. so it is upscale food you go up you order you pay you go up to the counter you collect your food and you go and find a seat. If you want the quick service dining plan, it's perfectly fine. It, like I said, they have great, great food. What you receive with the quick service dining plan is this is when you're staying on Disney property, as all dining plans are. You cannot purchase these if you're staying off site, off the property. You will receive per night, not based on per day per night at your Walt Disney World Resort, two quick service dining credits, and two snacks, plus a refillable drink mug that is only good at the resorts. They do not use the refillable drink mugs in the parks. So a quick service meal would include for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, one entree, one non-alcoholic beverage, or if you were 21 and over, an alcoholic beverage. Snacks you can receive at restaurants, um, outdoor carts. They put this symbol in, so you know that is a snack, and it can be a, you know, a Mickey Mouse ice cream bar, a scoop of popcorn. Snack can be a drink. Snack can be a soda or a water or a Powerade or a coffee. Starbucks, those are snack credits. You can use your snack credits at Starbucks. Uh, milk, juice, fruit, bags of snacks, chips. 21 and over, there are certain alcoholic beverages you can receive. Your The servers will tell you. If you are not into alcohol, you can get an arsen, you can get specialty milkshakes. I'm going to say arsen, my notes say 
I can't pronounce it. I'm sorry. Artis artisanal, art whatever. Smoothies, hot chocolate, specialty milkshakes, and soda, coffee, tea. And then you can also get, you know, if you are, beer, cider, sangria, wine. There are mixed drinks and specialty cocktails on the list as well. We just went in May. Had a mimosa at Garden Grill for breakfast. It's a strong mimosa. It was wonderful. <laughs> Items that are not included, I'll put all of this, actually probably be in my blog, so check that out. There's some. Box of donuts. You can't get a giant box of donuts or a jar of peanut butter and, you know, stuff like that. Honestly, stuff that I wouldn't even think about getting as I can't eat a jar of peanut butter in a whole sitting, so that to me is not a snap credit. I know some people can. Believe me. I live with a couple of them, so <laughs> I understand the regular dining plan. With the regular dining plan, you receive quick service and a table service. So you will receive one quick service dining credit and one table service dining credit and two snacks per night. Once again, per night. So if you're there for nine days, but you're there for eight nights, it's on the night. So you would get eight quick service, eight table service, and 16 snack credits. What is a table service? A table service is like a restaurant. You go in, you sit down, somebody comes, they, you know, you have a menu, they wait on you, and that's how you go. All character dining, all character dining is table service. There is no character dining that is quick service. So keep that in mind. I always recommend this one, especially if you have little kids, you know, and you want to hit those character dining, table service. So for the quick service meal, you'll for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, you get one entree, one non-alcoholic beverage, 21 and over, an alcoholic beverage. For the table service, for breakfast, it's one entree, one non-alcoholic beverage or alcoholic beverage, or one buffet or family style meal. Family style meals like at Acker Shoes, Ohana breakfast, Garden Grill breakfast, where they bring you a platter of food you help yourselves to it, and they will bring you more and more, as much as you want. It's unlimited, but you don't have to get up and go to a buffet. It's family style. Table service, lunch or dinner, you get an entree, a dessert. You can get substitution if you like. Ask the server. Non-alcoholic beverage or alcoholic beverage, a buffet, or family style meal. So in that one, you get an entree, and then now you're getting the dessert with the table service. Once again, snack credits, all the same. And beverages, character dining is table service meal. Keep in mind, right now, the only character meal, Cinderella's Royal Table, is two table service. Oh, no, I lied. Sorry. Okay. Go back. Rewind. I feel like Willy Wonka. Cinderella's Royal Table, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, is two table service credits be our guest at the end of July for dinner now it's not really a character meal but the beast is there that will be two table service credits so I guess it's not it's not really a character meal but he is there to me and that's going to be two table service credits also with table service credits you can choose to dine in signature restaurants and signature restaurants are there's Tiffin's in Animal Kingdom, G Goat Animal Kingdom Lodge, Hollywood Brown Derby and Hollywood Studios. There's a giant list. I could go on and on. And we, my family, we love, love signature restaurants. Those are two table service credits. And with them, you receive on the regular dining plan an entree, non alcoholic or alcoholic beverage, and a dessert. So that's what those are. And they are. Table service is actually really, really fantastic. All right, deluxe dining plan. The Big Kahuna. There used to be more dining plans and then they've, they cut back in the last year and then now just these three. With the deluxe dining plan, you will receive three dining credits. They can be used, once again, per night. They can be used at any quick service or table service restaurants and Two snacks per day with the refillable drink mug. You get the refillable drink mug with the regular one too. Sorry, that wasn't on my notes and I don't know why. Only good at resort, the refillable drink mug. So once again, deluxe dining plan, you get three dining credits, 
quick or a table and two snacks per night plus the refillable drink mug quick service breakfast lunch or dinner once again same entree and beverage alcohol non alcohol table service is the same for breakfast you get an entree and a beverage alcohol non alcohol or buffet or family style meal lunch or dinner this is where it changes you will receive with the deluxe dining plan for lunch and dinner an appetizer an entree a dessert and a beverage alcohol non-alcohol <laughs> buffet or or buffet or family style meal i don't know i think my husband would like it if you could get the meal and then a buffet too i think he would sometimes he orders two meals so <laughs> that's how he rolls so yes once again if you want to sub something out just ask your server all about that snacks are all the same same with the alcoholic beverages we talked about the character dining the two once again it's not really character dining be our guest dinner but you know two two serve two take two table service dining credits your signature meals now the signature meal signature dining restaurants with the deluxe meal you get the same as the regular table service so signature dining with deluxe meal is two table service credits but you receive an appetizer entree dessert and then a beverage alcohol non-alcohol so that's something to keep in mind also the deluxe dining plan can be used for category two or category three seating at hoopty doo oh no wait 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 wait, wait. back up i'm sorry the deluxe dining plan can be used for category two i jumped ahead a line Woo! category two or category three at dinner shows like the luau at the poly or category one seating which is the eighth at the 8.30 hoopty doo Yes. Did that make sense? I hope that made sense. So category two or three at select dinner shows, like the luau at the Polynesian Resort. And then it is also, you can use the deluxe dining plan for the 8.30 hoopty doo for a category one seating. And these are going to be two credits, two table service credits for the dinner shows. You can also do ooh, private in-room dining, which will give you an appetizer, entree, dessert for lunch and dinner, and then your beverage. It's also two table service credits. You can do this, and my family did this on the last trip, and it was actually really lovely. We went back to the resort. We stayed at Pop Century, and we ordered a pizza, and we brought the pizza back. And that is two table service credits as well. So that was really, really fantastic. You can also have the pizza delivered to your room and you would get the pizza and two beverages and two desserts. So it's it's really good. It's a lot of food with the deluxe, but we like it because we tend to do a character meal in the morning pre-park and then a nice sit down at night. And a lot of times it's signature dining. So it really, really works out. A couple instances where some tips, be our guest. Be Our Guest is going to be quick service, breakfast, and lunch. And then it is table service for dinner until end of July. It is one table service credit, end of July 2018. So forward, it's going to be two table service credits. So keep that in mind. Also, it's going to have a prefix menu. So also keep that in mind. You do get to pick things that you want, but it's not as vast as it is now for dinner snack credits snack credits can be used like i said at carts throughout all of the parks at your resort you can also use snack credits at the food booths at any of the festivals that are taking place at epcot food and wine flower and garden holiday they're having festivals all year round pretty much you can use snack credits at the food booths it's absolutely fantastic also for dining credits you cannot go up so you cannot pull three quick service credits for one table service credit doesn't work that way table service is the top so you can use a table service credit for quick service you can use a quick service credit for three snacks at select locations usually not a cart usually you have to go to a store like the confectionery or the resort. I know they did it at Pop and we had we had one dining credit left this trip and one snack. 
So we just bought four snacks because I cannot have enough of Chippendale trail mix. So that's what we did. So once again, you cannot go up. You can only go down. So it goes table service, quick service, and then snacks. And it's one dining credit, table or quick, doesn't matter, for three snacks. Okay? And then, yeah, that's it. So you can't use quick service and upscale to table. So it's table, quick, and then snacks. So as I said, the dining credits are based on nights, not days. So for example, you have a five-night trip, six days at Disney World, whatever, five-night trip, and you are getting, we're well, just going to say the deluxe dining plan because it's easy. So you'll have each person in your party will have 15 dining credits, 10 snacks, and you can use them throughout your trip however you would like. They're like pulled together in the beginning, so you do not have to use a certain amount of credits per day. You can use them however you like. So you use, let's say, I don't know, four credits one, day one and one credit on day two. Perfectly fine. However you would like to do your vacation. That is actually fun for me. I make lots of charts and I have a whole system. So if you need any help, just book your vacation through me and I will gladly help you figure out the dining plan. So I think that is everything. Checking my notes. It looks like it's everything. If not, I'll have to just do a separate video. If you have any questions, please ask. You know, hopefully I covered it all. You will notice the 2018 plan has, or the 2019 plan has not changed from the 2018 plan, which is nice. It's really nice. And the prices and the adult really didn't change and the kids it did a little bit, but it works out. Once again, Disney kids are three to nine and Disney adult is 10 and up, which made my daughter very happy in May when she, cause she's 10 and she had to order from the adult menu. So she's a trooper, she's a foodie. She had elk and she just, just bison. She's the happiest kid. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.